Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 24th of September 2020. So, dollar NATO slams stocks, gold and silver as election angst spreads. So, uh, the important bit here is this. The uh, US dollar has been moved uh, to the upside. Uh, if I can just find it. Uh, there we go. So, the dollar has been uh, moved to the upside over the last few days of uh, Powell speaking and this has had an impact on the silver market alongside this JP Morgan to pay record 1 billion settlement over precious metals treasury manipulation uh, slap on the wrist and all is forgotten and forgiven so uh, again no no traders going to prison no bankers going to prison for uh, blatant fraud uh, which we have seen uh, for years in the silver market, uh, orchestrated uh, by this man, Jamie Dimon. And uh, what they were convicted of uh, was spoofing, front running the markets, and uh, yet again, they uh, are able to walk away with uh, just a, a one billion fine. It seems like a lot, but uh, apparently, according to the article, uh, they made over one hundred billion dollars from their activities. Uh, but that's nothing to do with the price of silver going down uh, this week. It's uh, Powell. He's been out uh, more or less every day. He's out again today. And he's been driving uh, the dollar higher with his rhetoric. Uh, but of course, uh, we know that this is in a decline. If we can uh, have a quick look at uh, a uh, monthly chart. Uh, see if we can, if I can actually bring one up here. Um, we can see that uh, the dollar is actually been in decline. It's only because it's getting down towards this 90 level. It's finding a bit of support. It's the better of uh, all of the bad currencies, of uh, fiat currencies that are, are all uh, devaluing. So, uh, like I say, the reason for the shakeout in silver is because of, uh, of what we're seeing at the moment with the US dollar moving back to the upside there, inversely related. So let's uh, have a look at uh, the implied volatility whilst we're here. You can see that this is uh, increasing as well. The Dow was down yesterday, as was the DAX. Uh, this is sending the implied volatility to the upside. The correction is still in progress and red all along as far as uh, the other implied is concerned. News for today as well. We've got, uh, uh, we've got uh, Bailey out. We've got Powell out. We've got the Munchkin out. They're all out at uh, 3 p.m. this afternoon, so expect some uh, volatility in uh, the markets when they speak. And again, if they pump the dollar, then you're going to see the precious metals coming under uh, some sort of uh, pressure as well. So let's start off with, uh, if I can find the right chart, that's the one I'm after. We've got uh, the DAX uh, for yesterday. We can see that uh, price is uh, traded back up to the 38% in the daily and have now moved lower and trading down to the 76% uh, area there. Uh, you can see uh, 12486 is uh, the area which it's already broken. And if this is taken out, uh, then we've got the 89% area, which is here, and then the 200 uh, MA area. Let's go back to yesterday. I uh, did record it, uh, but uh, we only had the one signal. But this came in as uh, the French flash news came out. Uh, it was a high impact news item. There was uh, a lot of news uh, yesterday morning. Uh, but eventually, again, you can see the buying pressure coming in here at the 200 MA, the market reversing, and then prices just grinding higher throughout the rest of the session once they close back above the uh, R1. And the high, notice again in this area here. So if you can get prices above the high, then that's great. It'll keep the prices moving higher until they run out of steam, which they did, and they drifted lower. And then when the Dow opened uh, yesterday afternoon, we can see prices closing uh, down to the uh, BRN. And this is a very interesting uh, area here because you've got all of this buying here and uh, prices uh, failing to close above this uh, BRN, staying below the 20 bar moving average and then uh, moving to the downside. We see a bit of uh, profit taking here and then banging its head against the high. The high then became a resistance area, which we see here as well. You can see this in an attempt to move prices high, they failed. Uh, but here's the interesting part here. As we got down to where the previous day's close, you can see uh, the buying coming in here in this tiny bar to bring the market back after 
the uh, near 100 point uh, move to the downside from in this area here you see down to there and then uh, the buying comes in climatic action now that's what you want to see in the silver market as well uh, over the next uh, few days before considering any buying which I'll get to in just a moment but this sort of action like this is what uh, we're looking for in uh, stopping the market's uh, decline in prices and uh, then so the prices move back up towards the high and then fail and then into the evening they continue uh, lower and overnight uh, we're below the DP which you can see there already just compress the prices and uh, let's just move over to the left so we're below the DP we're below the 200 and we are below yesterday's low which we've seen in the daily chart so it's uh, looking at the S1s if we've got any uh, resistance uh, watch out for prices trading back up to the low and to the 200 and finding resistance there as well until Powell Bailey and all these others have spoken they've not come up with any scheme whatsoever to support the market so the market is free to move to the downside uh, whether this is a ploy to uh, get rid of uh, Trump uh, who knows you just wouldn't put anything past uh, the Fed or the deep state is despised by all of them and uh, anything they can do to uh, ruin the election by declining stocks uh, will be uh, appreciated by the democrats so uh, again the dow showing the same picture here heading towards that 78 89 and we've got the 200 ma there so this is sort of the area where you'd expect uh, to see some sort of support coming in which we saw there before prices move back to the upside as well in the dow and then finally in uh, the silver market like i say inversely related to the uh, us dollar this being uh, moved and hammered to the downside long term absolutely no problem the lower this goes the, the better i don't care um, because of the carnage that is going to be coming uh, over the next uh, few years never mind months it's a long term trade it's not a five minute trade still have profits uh, in these trades but uh, uh, greatly reduced to say the least um, but i have bought in down at the $13 level which is way down here so if they want to bring it back to this level that's fine by me I can go back in and uh, hit it hard on the buy side so no problem at all uh, if that's what they wish to do like I say it's a long-term trade I know I was, I was in one trade uh, for 18 months before I got out of it in March of this year so uh, I don't mind at all like I say it's not a five minute trade this is a long-term trade for prices to uh, trade back up to those uh, all-time highs of uh, 50 dollars an ounce which uh, are on the cards you've just got to have these pullbacks where the market pulls back before it can move back to the upside so that's fine that's how it works in long-term bull markets particularly in the precious metals you have to put up with these uh, short-term corrections manipulated or otherwise by uh, jp morgan and assisted by uh, the Fed because the last thing they want is gold and silver to really go up unless it has to as uh, it's an indication of failure by the central banks okay that will uh, do it uh, for this one if there is anything else to report I will let you know but otherwise uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one